What's up, music makers? This is Luke from Sojourner Tracks at SojournerTracks.com. I got this question a couple weeks ago. Can I change the key of my song after I've recorded all of the instruments? And I was like, I'm not sure. So I looked it up, and the answer is actually yes, you can. Um, and it's really easy. So I wanted to share with you uh, how to do that. If you've ever been in that situation where you go to record vocals on something and you realize that note is going to sound bad if I sing it in this key. So if it's a matter of just switching you know, down a half step um, or up a half step or even a whole step, um, what you're going to hear is it is pitch shifting. So the more you pitch shift, the more you're going to realize that it's pitch shifted. So this works great if you're doing half steps. More than that, you know, use your best judgment. Um, anyways, I got a song pulled up here. Let's take a look. Uh, all you have to do is have your uh, inspector open up here, go down to region, and this is your transpose. So you can see I just set it back to zero. Um, if we listen to this now, uh, that is the way that it was recorded. Now, if you go up here to the click down menu, these are octaves. So this is, this operates on a basis of semitones. So one is a half step if you're talking about keys. So this is in the key of E minor. So if I wanted to change it to uh, E flat minor, I would just go, you can just double click on it and type in negative one, or you can drag through this way. Um, but now this guitar part will be in E flat minor. Simple as that. Um, and if you're doing the entire song this way, you can do Command A to select all of your tracks. And by the way, um, I wouldn't do this on drums. Um, you don't need to do it on drums uh, for the most part. Most of the drum stuff, unless you have uh, melodic stuff going on in the drums, you won't need to, to mess with the drums. But So select A to select all of your instruments, and then you can go up here and you can change them all at once. I'm not gonna do that right now because it takes a, a little bit to process all of that out, but if you've got something recorded and you realize that you gotta go back and re-record because the, the key just doesn't work for your voice, this is gonna save you tons of time. Um, I also would suggest that um, I learned the hard way that it's better to just get a garbage demo with everything in it um, you know use use software instruments so it doesn't take up a ton of time at recording just get like the most basic vocal in there so that at least that you have familiarized yourself with what you've written um, and then when you get to the recording stage you'll have that much more experience behind um, what you're doing so that you know going into it that yes I'm going to be able to hit that note or um, different changes that you might want to make um, can save you from having to do this. But if you do need to change the key, that's pretty simple. Uh, if this is useful to you, please uh, hit uh, that like button, subscribe. Um, I have new videos coming out all the time. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.